Motion is adopted. Well, one of the largest and most sweeping economic stimulus bills in U.S. history has been approved by Congress. It's heading to President Biden's desk and should be signed by Friday. The scope of the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan takes up more than 600 printed pages and is unprecedented, Brandon. And yet in the coming weeks, tens of millions of Americans will now receive $1,400 stimulus checks. Unemployment benefits will also be expanded. The cost of health insurance under Obamacare has also been lowered. Jared's in the newsroom tonight to break it all down for us, Jared. Well, yet over the year, Congress has now spent a grand total of $5.5 trillion to combat the virus and the economic damage it's done. That includes this new package, which Democrats say is as monumental as passing the Affordable Care Act. Act. In a race to send relief before unemployment benefits expire at the end of the week, House Democrats handed President Biden his first big win, passing his $1.9 trillion COVID relief package. Not a single Republican voted for it. This is the most consequential legislation that many of us will ever be a party to. The bill will send most Americans checks of $1,400. It includes billions for vaccinations and school reopening efforts. It increases the child tax credit and lowers Obamacare insurance premiums. The bill also extends the weekly $300 in federal unemployment benefits through early September. I do need help right now um, more, than, more than ever. This mother of two was laid off in November. Try not to cry. It's like having a huge anxiety attack every single day. And she is not alone. It's popular nationwide. 70% of Americans support the COVID relief package. That includes 41% of Republicans. This bill represents a historic, historic victory for the American people. I look forward to signing it later this week. Republicans in Congress railed against it today, arguing nearly $400 billion in aid for transit agencies, states and local governments, as well as $86 billion to bail out pension funds, is not pandemic related. It isn't a relief bill. It's a laundry list of left wing priorities that predate the pandemic and do not meet the needs of the American families. After weeks of wrangling in Congress, the bill now heads to President Biden's desk. Yet, as you mentioned, he will sign it into law this Friday. So that will be Friday. Yep. How long is it going to take before people start <laughs> seeing that money? That's the most important question, yeah. right? It's going to happen quickly. The White House says those payments will go out by the end of this month, maybe sooner. And those with direct deposit should get the payments first in their accounts. Yet, it is based on your 2019 taxes or 2020 taxes if you've already filed. A lot of people have been waiting for yep. this money. Jared, thank you for breaking sure. that down for us.